Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's so lovely to have you here. Today I have a different video than most of the content I've done before. Obviously on my channel I want to talk about sustainable fashion, fashion in general, and styling, but I also want to present some new type of content. And today I'm very excited to show you my first virtual Q&A with Epoca's shop owner. Obviously, we are in different times and I would have loved to done most of this content in person. I actually wanted to do like video interviews in person, but of course COVID stopped a lot of our plans that we had for 2020. So I'm really excited to show you my first virtual Q&A on this channel and it's perfect because it's the fifth day of Fashion Revolution Week. So today you'll get to learn a little bit more about Epoca shop owner what inspires her personal style, how she curates the pieces for her shops, and advice that she has for people who are interested in building a sustainable style, but don't know where to start, don't know what pieces or how to incorporate sustainable pieces into their wardrobe. So I hope you really enjoy this Q&A, and now let's get to know a little bit more about Epoca shop owner. Hello everyone, ¿qué tal? My name is Daisy Rincón. I am from Dallas, Texas, and I'm a small business owner of Epoca Shop. Epoca's is an online secondhand and vintage shop with, the, with a focus on secondhand styling. Um, so I started this shop about a year ago, but the idea really kicked in when I was in college. At that time, I had been experimenting with clothes and I began to style myself quite a lot with only thrifted pieces. And then over time, I kind of accumulated a lot of clothes. So um, the thought of creating a shop kind of kicked in a bit. I, I remember thinking to myself, oh, it would be so cool if I made my own shop or created my own shop where I just sold my own like secondhand vintage pieces. But it, it stayed as an idea because at that time I was taking on quite a lot of responsibilities. Um, and then I graduated in December of 2019 and the pandemic happened shortly after, which allowed me to have all this time in my hands. So I ran with the idea um, and I told myself that it would either be something that I could just do for fun right then and there, or it could be something that I can end up really falling in love with. And it definitely ended up being something that I fell in love with. Um, it is something that I absolutely enjoy doing and here we are a whole year later so for those who don't know epocas actually means time period or era in spanish and i knew from the very start that i wanted my shop's name to be in spanish as a note to my latinx mexican culture roots so one night i was scrolling through all of my Spanish playlists on Spotify, and then I stumbled upon this song called Epocas by Clubs, which was my most played song at that time. And as soon as I saw that word, I just knew that that was it. So I plugged in Epocas Shop together and I fell in love. The whole name process took about 30 minutes. I am very inspired by 90s Tejano Western culture. I'm inspired by 80s fashion. I love bold colors. I love prints, patterns, and textures. So that is always something that I'm looking for in my shop. Just anything that really is unique or hard to find. So growing up, my family and I would go to garage sales or estate sales out in the suburbs every weekend, or we'd even go to flea markets as a form of shopping. And then by the time I was 15, 16 years old, that's when I started thrift shopping. So secondhand shopping has always been a prominent thing in my life. And there are so many advantages that come with thrifting. You know, not only are you shopping sustainably, but you're also shopping affordably. I'd say about 90% of my clothes is secondhand or thrifted. If I could style anyone, I think if they were still here with us today, I would have loved to style Selena Quintanilla or even Juan Gabriel. That would have been a major dream of mine for sure. So three shops that I have been absolutely loving that are also based here in Dallas, Texas would have to be House of Vintage who have a storefront in Bishop Arts. 
uh, Erica Nicole Vintage on Instagram and Fresa Thrift also on Instagram. If you have not heard of any of these shops, definitely check them out, support, follow. They are amazing. In this little corner of my room is where I keep all of my favorite thrifted pieces or secondhand boughten pieces that I have collected over time. I don't have one favorite piece because I'm an indecisive person, so I'm showing y'all this side of my room. Dressing sustainably does not always mean wearing neutral colors. I think that you can still implement uh, fun, bold, colorful pieces into your closet and be sustainable as long as you're being intentional with those pieces, right? Um, which is my advice to someone who is wanting to transition into building a more mindful closet is to always be intentional with, with what you um, purchase. Also being mindful of where you put your money towards instead of a big money corporation maybe you, you can shop local or you can uh, go thrifting um, and reusing your clothes um, definitely should normalize the outfit repeating because that's what clothes are made for to reuse well that is it everyone i hope that y'all enjoyed getting to know a little bit about me if you all would like to follow my journey, you can find me on Instagram at Epoca Shop or visit my website at epocashop.com. Thank you.